What's going on guys? It's King Tuts Pro and welcome back to another Final Cut Pro 10 tutorial. I know I told you guys that I would be doing a Final Cut Pro 10 tutorial by the end of uh, this week and I did. I kept that promise. I never let you guys down, of course. Um, so I decided to do this really cool effect that I found or I came across from Russ, his uh, music video called Losing Control. This is a really super cool music video. I'll leave it linked in the description, of course, so you guys can watch it. This is a really cool effect that you guys can do in Final Cut Pro 10 and Adobe Premiere Pro, if you guys are wondering, but I'm going to be doing this effect in Final Cut Pro 10. So I'm going to show you guys the effect right here. I'm going to go ahead and make this a little bit bigger. So I'm going to go ahead and push play so you guys can see what the effect is. So that is the effect right there, but this is the full effect right here. It's really, really cool, guys. I really suggest you guys watch the whole entire tutorial. If you guys do, that's awesome. Leave a like. Uh, but that's the effect we're going to be doing in Final Cut Pro 10. It's really cool. So what we're going to go ahead and do is I'm going to go ahead and just get rid of these keyframes because I want to show you guys how to do this from scratch. So once you have your footage right on top of the other clip, what you want to go ahead and do is just zoom in onto the video here by pressing Command Plus to zoom in onto the timeline. So after you've done that, you want to go ahead and push B for the blade tool and you want to start cutting each frame individually. So just keep doing that for the whole entire clip and just go one by one. Make sure you don't skip some because if you do, you're going to mess up when you're going to be deleting them. So once you've done that, you want to go ahead and select every other frame and delete it. So we'll keep the first frame and we'll delete this one. And just keep doing that until you go until the very end. I would suggest you guys keeping the last frame towards the end of the video or else it's just going to cut off and it's just going to look a little bit weird. So now if we push play, this is what we have. So you can see it's a nice smooth kind of effect, a flickering effect between two videos. So that's the effect we're trying to achieve. However, nothing looks good without color grading and Motion VFX did offer me a plugin to try out. I'm not sponsored to say this by the way, but if you guys want to download and pay for their plugins, which I would personally do because they offer the best plugins ever for Final Cut Pro 10, in my opinion. What you want to go ahead and do is once you've installed the plugins, go onto the effects uh, browser and then go to the Mlet. That's what it's called, but the plugin itself is called uh, Blockbuster Mlet. And what you want to go ahead and do is just click on it and drag it to the first frame. You go onto the inspector window at the top right. And then it's going to say Mlet by Motion VFX. And here you're going to be presented with a whole bunch of settings that you guys can change. But first, I'm going to go on to the Mlet library where you guys can change the color graded presets for your videos. And it also kind of simulates a kind of a, a particular movie or a TV show. So the first one is 12 Years a Slave. The second one is Captain America. So you guys can get the same feel and the same color depending on that particular um, movie or TV show. So we have Fury, we have um, uh, Spectre Cold, Sherlock Holmes, The Great Gatsby, and we have The Martian. Now these right here are paid, it's $60 to get these. Th these are pretty cool, I'm not gonna lie. So if I wanted The Martian, just click on it, and this will go ahead and color grade and color correct your video as well. So once you guys are ready, just click on OK. And then from here, you guys can change the settings. So we have the intensity is pretty much how strong the effect will be. Currently it's at 100%. So we can go from 0 to 100. You guys can change the midtones as well. So if you want to make the midtones brighter, you guys can do that as well. You guys can bring up the shadows or darken them. I'm just going to keep how the shadows are. The contrast, you can make this darker or brighter. I'm going to make it a little bit brighter around there. You guys can change the hue. So if you click on this, you guys can make them into the Hulk if you wanted to, but you guys can increase the grain if you want. So once you've applied it to the first clip, you want to go ahead and press command C and you want to go ahead and select all the other frames. So I'm going to go ahead and kind of zoom in here and I'm going to go ahead and select all of the frames except the first one. And I'm going to go on to edit and paste effects. Now the shortcut for the paste effects is option command V. So click on that and that will apply it to all of the clips. And you want to go ahead and render this out so it's not slow, but you guys get the idea of what this is. So you're just deleting frames to create the same effect that we have right here. You want to do this for the whole entire clip to make it longer like this. And it looks really, really good, okay? So, I mean, if you found this video helpful in any way, please leave a like in the rating section below. Comment down what you guys want to see next, and I will catch you guys on my next video. Until then, peace out, take care, and enjoy your day.